to see firsthand the young people who are making productive lives for themselves at the Boys and Girls Club. Now to <laughs> this way, thank you. <laughs> uh, I will tell you that I am uh, very honored, very humbled uh, to uh, receive this award tonight, especially from an organization uh, as prestigious as the Boys and Girls Club. As many of you know, it's a hundred years for them, uh, 200 years for the organization its entirety before the Congress enacted uh, the Boys and Girls Club of America. And um, this is uh, going to be a very shining moment for not only the board of directors, uh, obviously for Denzel, uh, for some of the other honorees. Uh, Danny Saw, who is the president, has done a tremendous job. Uh, but I am only here to say thank you. Uh, my wife, and my daughter joins me here tonight, Michelle, and my daughter. Uh, I've been blessed. God has given me some great opportunities in my life. And uh, I'm just thankful for having this opportunity to serve. Uh, Lowe's Moore, Executive Director of the Boys and Girls Club in Mount Vernon. Fantastic. So how did you start out? Well, started out as a member at the, at the Boys Club. Okay and uh, went through that whole process and then in the 1980s it became Boys and Girls Club. I see. Yeah, graduated high school, got a full scholarship to go to West Virginia University, played basketball, and uh, in the 1980s uh, it turned into right, Boys and Girls Club, right? Yes. Boys and Girls Club, you, get, you gotta mention the girls now. And, and, Can't leave us out. Yeah, then in, in uh, 1980 I graduated from college and got drafted by the New Jersey Nets, played eight, eight years of professional basketball, and then after my career, I started wondering what I was going to do. And one of my mentors, uh, Mr. James Jones, uh, asked me, he said, look, the, the position is open at the Boys Club. Would you consider it? I said, I've never been an executive, but, you know, whatever you needed me to do. And, and I've been there since 1993. And from 1993, I've been counting down to this day. Senator Malcolm Smith. But when they said it was the Boys and Girls Club, it brought back many memories. And celebrating especially the hundredth anniversary, and I and I live three blocks from the Boys and Girls Club that I went to as a kid, and that was more than fifty years ago. So I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Boys and Girls Club that I'd walk to, and often I could still smell the chlorine <laughs> in the swimming pool there. But it was certainly one of the havens for all of us. And I remember it always brings back great memories because of the, the time and devotion that was given to us. Then it was just a boys club, but given to young men. And um, I, I understand that the, the Boys and Girls Club that we're honoring is also the one that, that, that Denzel Washington. I don't think he went there 50 years ago, but <laughs> but just upon, but but just just to celebrate the work that's being done, that continues to be done. I mean, the the idea of of those institutions, such as that, and a great number of those institutions are in jeopardy in our communities, as we see communities dissipate and see the things that happen in our communities, and and people pay a a, a, a little bit less attention to, to the mentoring of, of young people. We see those, those, those organizations finding a way in which they become irrelevant. The Boys and Girls Club still becomes irrelevant in young people's lives. And I remember those activities, the simple activity of wood carving. Something like that, of playing the, the various games around there, not just not just the basketball, because a great deal of us showed up there to play basketball and everything else, but just the activities, just the fact that there's a the, the fact that you are part, all those who are part of a continuum, 
they become a part of that membership. And the membership goes around not only the country here, but goes around the world. Because men and women, young men and women who come out of the Boys and Girls Clubs, Club, come there and not only serve their own community, but serve other communities in the world. Some sense. I can go in San Francisco right now and say, I remember, remember when we used to run into somebody I grew up with and said, remember when we used to go here, you remember this moment at the, at, at the club, remember the trampoline. I, I, I think about, you know, because that's the way I had some kind of hops when I got on the trampoline. I didn't have any hops when I got on the basketball court. But I, when I jumped on the, on the trampoline at the, in the gym, I had some hops, you know. But those are the good memories that I have. Thank you very much. All, I mean, thank you for all members and all who, who share those stories and share those memories with me as well. Uh, because I want to thank you for allowing me to have those memories to, mm. to the Boys and Girls Club of America. Thank you. Oh,